the Duke and Duchess of Sussex made their Buckingham Palace departure official in 2020, a few days after the public release of a picture of the late Queen Elizabeth U, King Charles, Prince William, and Prince George in the palace's throne room. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle apparently received a final push to leave the royal family from a touching photo of Prince George, according to an author. In January 2020, the Sussexes made the announcement that they would be leaving Buckingham Palace. Prior to making the huge admission, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex reportedly already thought the firm was conspiring against them before a public image of the Queen and her hairs was made public. The late Queen Elizabeth II is pictured in the picture with Prince William, Prince George, and the now King Charles in the throne room at Buckingham Palace. Days before Harry and Meghan officially announced their intention to retire as working royals, the picture was made public at the start of 2020. According to author Andrew Morton, the picture served as the couple's wake-up call and the impetus they needed to leave, according to Mirror. The royal couple believed that the entire establishment was working against them, according to Morton's book Meghan, A Hollywood Princess. They observed that there was ample proof all around them. The unstated rule was simple. With or without Meghan and Harry, the monarchy's destiny was secure. According to Morton, who spoke to the Mirror's podcast Pod Save the King, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had discussions about leaving the firm only six months after their wedding, significantly earlier than the general public had previously believed. In November 2018, just six months after their wedding, Mr. Morton said that Harry was speaking with Oprah Winfrey in a hotel in London. Hence, they began to consider taking an alternative route very quickly. The irony is that when William and Catherine appointed Prince Harry as their youth ambassador, they gave them the keys to the first-class lounge. In essence, the Queen was telling them, you take care of the rest of the world, allow the royal family to take care of the UK, where they will eventually be the heads of state. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex made the decision to start carving out a progressive new role within this institution this year after reflecting on it for some months and having internal discussions about it. As senior members of the royal family, we want to take a step back and work toward financial independence while still providing Her Majesty the Queen with our full support. We feel ready to make this transition thanks to your encouragement especially over the past few years. We now intend to divide our time equally between the UK and North America, while still upholding our obligations to the Queen, the Commonwealth, and our patronages. This geographic balance will allow us to raise our kid in the royal tradition, into which he was born, while simultaneously giving our family the room to concentrate on the next phase, which includes the beginning of our new humanitarian organization. When questioned at the time, a spokesperson for Buckingham Palace responded that talks with the couple were in an early stage and added, We understand their wish to take a new approach, but these are complicated problems that will take time to sort through.